Welcome to Stoic Diamond. When you're looking for someone to build a meaningful and lasting relationship with, emotional maturity is one of the most critical traits to consider. But how can you tell if the person you're dating is emotionally mature enough to create the deep partnership you're seeking? In this post, we're going to break down three clear signs that a person may be emotionally immature and why identifying these signs early can save you a lot of heartache down the road. Hello. I'm Matt Boggs, founder of the Love and Relationships Division at the Brave Thinking Institute, where we help people create and live a life they love, and that includes a healthy and fulfilling love life. If you find this information helpful, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to receive updates on new content that can empower you in your relationships. So, what are the telltale signs of emotional immaturity, and why should you care? The faster you can spot these signs, the quicker you can decide if someone is a good fit for you or if you should move on to someone who's more aligned with your emotional and spiritual needs. Let's dive into these three key indicators of emotional immaturity. Sign 1. They are quick to blame others. A classic sign of emotional immaturity is when someone is quick to shift the blame for any negative situation onto others. This is often referred to as having a victim mentality. When a person operates from this mindset, they believe that life is happening to them rather than acknowledging that they play a part in what happens. Instead of taking responsibility for their actions, they look for excuses or place blame on external factors. For example, imagine you're out to dinner and the food takes a long time to arrive. A mature individual might say something like, I guess the restaurant is busy tonight, no worries. But someone emotionally immature might get upset and blame the waiter, the kitchen staff, or even you for suggesting the restaurant. It's always someone else's fault in their mind, and they seldom take responsibility for their role in any issues. This type of thinking shows up in more serious situations too. Let's say you and your partner have a disagreement. An emotionally immature person might refuse to own their part in the problem and instead blame you or others for the conflict. They are quick to deflect accountability, which makes resolving issues difficult and prevents growth in the relationship. Sign 2. They let circumstances control their mood. Another major sign of emotional immaturity is when someone allows external circumstances to dictate their mood. We all have ups and downs, but emotionally mature people can manage their emotions even when things don't go their way. Immature individuals, on the other hand, let every little inconvenience ruin their day. If things are going well, they're in a good mood. But the moment something goes wrong, like traffic, a tough day at work, or their favorite sports team losing, they become irritable or angry, sometimes for hours. Consider this. An emotionally mature person might acknowledge a bad day at work and say, yeah, it was tough, but I'm not going to let it ruin my evening. They have the ability to shift their mindset and focus on the positive, even in challenging situations. However, an emotionally immature person may come home in a bad mood and stay that way for the rest of the night, making it hard for anyone around them to enjoy their company. This type of behavior is exhausting over time, as the emotionally immature person is always at the mercy of their circumstances. If things go well, they're pleasant to be around, but if something doesn't go their way, they let that negativity seep into every part of their life including their relationship with you. Sign 3. They punish you instead of communicating. When something upsets an emotionally immature person, instead of expressing their feelings and working through the issue, they may try to punish you. This can happen in a variety of ways, but often looks like withdrawing affection, giving you the silent treatment or being passive-aggressive. Rather than coming to you and explaining how they feel, they might sulk or act out in an effort to make you feel bad. For example, let's say you're at a party and you make a small joke about your partner's tendency to be late. It's a lighthearted comment, but they take it personally and feel embarrassed. Instead of pulling you aside later to talk about it, they might withdraw from you for the rest of the night or start acting cold. You might sense that something is wrong, but when you ask them about it, they refuse to explain. This kind of passive-aggressive behavior leaves you confused and frustrated because they're not giving you the chance to fix the situation or improve communication.
A mature partner, on the other hand, would be able to tell you, hey, when you made that joke about me being late, it hurt my feelings. Can we agree not to tease each other like that in public? This kind of honest communication helps build trust and strengthens the relationship, whereas punishing or withholding creates tension and distance. Why these signs matter? These signs are important because they reveal underlying issues that can make or break a relationship. Emotional maturity isn't something that changes overnight. It takes self-awareness and a willingness to grow. If you recognize these signs in someone you're dating, it's important to consider whether they're willing to put in the work to develop emotional strength or if they're stuck in patterns that could lead to more problems down the road. Just like physical strength, emotional strength comes from practice. The more someone works on their emotional intelligence through self-reflection, communication and personal growth, the better partner they'll be. But if they haven't started that journey yet, it may be difficult to build the type of deep, meaningful connection that leads to a lasting partnership. In conclusion, if you're looking for a strong, emotionally mature partner, pay attention to these signs. It's not about finding someone who's perfect, but someone who's willing to take responsibility for their actions, control their emotions in a healthy way, and communicate openly instead of punishing you when things go wrong. By noticing these indicators early on, you can save yourself time and heartache and make room for the kind of partner who is truly ready to build a strong, lasting relationship with you. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What are some signs of emotional immaturity that you've experienced? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for reading and I believe in your ability to create the love life you deserve.